The wilding wall beds, uh, one of the most common additions to any wall bed purchase or side cabinets. That really is what helps you uh, or helps your room function the way that you would like it to. Now we make several different styles, several different depths, uh, several different functions in terms of cabinets. We have everything as simple as a bookshelf to a wardrobe to a secretary desk or computer desk. Now this cabinet is part of our face frame uh, cabinet collection. This is part of the gallery series. We're going to talk about drawers and doors here in just a second, but I want you to, to see the, the amount of work that we go to in a gallery series products to make sure this cabinet is going to be something that will just last, last you an entire lifetime. Face framing helps the cabinet significantly so that it doesn't rack or twist on your floor over time. Um, it has adjustable shelves. It also has either drawers or cabinet space, depending on the size and the type and the, the style that you've chosen. At Wilding Wall Beds, we have always felt the cabinet is only as good as its drawers. And so we're going to show you how we build our drawers differently than everybody else in the industry. The first thing I'd like to introduce you to is our Soft Close Gallery Series products. You'll notice that as I go to close this drawer, it's going to take over for me and just shut it softly. Uh, just a fabulous set of glides. Uh, the drawer is easily taken out of the cabinets uh, just by squeezing a pair of handles that are found underneath the drawer. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. So I just press here to unclip that, that drawer. The first thing that you're going to notice is that this is actually a solid wood drawer. This isn't plywood or particle board or anything else. It's actually solid wood. Next thing you'll notice is that this is actually dovetailed. <laughs> I don't know if you know how to uh, dovetail a drawer, but these are actually interlocking uh, pieces of the same piece of wood. So once I get this drawer uh, pressed together and glued in place, it is a drawer literally that is going to last you a lifetime. We dovetail all four corners of the drawer rather than just the front. The other thing I'd like to point out as I'm talking about all of these quality things that we do with the drawer is they're unique to Wilding Wall Beds. You're not going to find this from a competitor. When you buy Wilding Wall Beds, this is the quality that you can expect to get. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is what's called a fully captured drawer bottom. What that means is that this, this base, and this is wood, this isn't Formica or Melamine or, or anything else. Again, this is all real wood. It's actually inserted into all four sides of the drawer box. Now I'm going to do a demonstration that will show you why we think that's important. I can stand on that drawer box and you don't have to worry about it breaking. To put this drawer back in place, I'm just going to set it down on its rails and then just pull the glide up into the lock like this. The last thing I want to tell you about our gallery series products is if your cabinet has doors on it, it will also include the soft close hinges. So as I go to close this door, it will just take over and softly close that cabinet for me. No more slamming doors. Now you'd think a door is a door, right? It just closes the cabinet space. But that's not really true. What I want to do is show you how we build the door to make sure this can last a lifetime for you. The first thing is that this is a five-piece door. This is a style and rail, style and rail. Those are four individual pieces, and then you have the door panel, which is the fifth piece here. The next thing in this specific model, this is a raised panel. Now, some of the Home Front Series products are not raised panel, but this concept holds true between any of those Home Front Series uh, products that we make. When we put a panel inside a framework like this, we know that humidity is going to cause that panel to grow or shrink, depending on if you're in a dry area or a wet or humid area. What we've done is we've designed this panel so that it floats inside this, this door, but you don't want it to rattle either. So what we've done is we've inserted rubber ball bearings that go down the grooves that hold this panel into place in several different places along the framework of this door. So once it's put together now, not only does it so sound solid as it closes, but if you're in a humid area and that drawer panel grows, it won't blow your door apart. This is seriously intended to last your lifetime. The other thing that we do with our home front and our gallery series cabinets is that we take 
the cross members of the cabinets themselves. What I'm talking about is the permanent shelves and they're literally inserted into the side of the cabinet. Now that process is called a dado. So this shelf here inserts into this sideboard. It also inserts into this sideboard. There is no better way to make a cabinet for durability than face framing and dadoing. The last thing that I'd like to talk about with the cabinet is the back of the cabinet itself. Now that's way back there and you think that it doesn't play a part in the cabinet other than hide your wall, but it does structurally. And so what we've done is we've taken this cabinet back and literally inserted it into the back of the cabinet in a jointing process called the rabbit joint. That structurally makes this cabinet nearly bulletproof. This is our simple bookshelf cabinet and it has one permanent shelf. This one is not adjustable, but the other shelves that you see here are all adjustable. So the benefit it gives you is a place to stack books, move those shelves up and down. This is our door and drawer cabinet. You've got three adjustable shelves above. You have the single drawer, and then you have the cabinet space below. The next option that we offer is our three drawer cabinet. Uh, this has three drawers, below with three adjustable shelves above. Now you're going to notice that there's quite a difference in design between these two cabinets. We make all of the cabinets to match your specific bed. So if you order a specific style, the cabinets will be made door and drawer style or three drawer style to match that specific style that you're looking at. Our very most popular cabinet is likely our wardrobe cabinet. What this gives you is a closet space in the top here that you can hang clothing in. And then below the closet space are three functional drawers for the clothes that you would fold. Now this model is called the three drawer hutch cabinet. This is made with three drawers in the bottom or it can be substituted for one drawer and a cabinet space. That's called a door and drawer. And then of course it's a hutch. You have the cabinet space over the top portion with the open middle, a hutch cabinet. Our secretary cabinet's kind of a fun little thing. Uh, you have a nice little display space up above with two adjustable shelves. And then of course you have the drop down lid where you have the writing surface itself. So as you drop the lid down, this stabilizes that top so you, you're good and secure. And this surface we make for writing. So if you're using a, a computer or just simply gonna write a letter to a friend, you can, you can write right on this surface here. Below that secretary option are the three drawers. Our single most popular option for our cabinets, and this is an option that you can add to any of the side cabinets, is this little slide out night tray. It really just functions as a nightstand. You're going to notice that it comes out the same height as the mattress, so you're not reaching up or down to your nightstand, but it gives you a place to put, you know, a book or your glasses or a glass of water, maybe some medications or a cell phone just here on the, the little nightstand for nighttime use. This cabinet also shows some of the other fun things that we can do to your, your cabinets. Now this has a glass door, so you can do a glass panel. We have everything from clear glass to art glass. This one happens to be a German antique glass, an old straw glass to give it kind of that antique look, but uh, the glass can help you uh, design the, the, the overall look of the cabinet that you want. Inside this specific cabinet we have glass shelves. And this is a pencil edge so it's very comfortable, run your finger across, great, great finish. They're also adjustable and this cabinet also has our cabinet light. You can add any of those options to whichever cabinet you choose.